what's up techies i'm back with another video in this short video i'm going to teach you how you can solve this error that you can see on my screen an internal error has occurred this normally happens when you're trying to connect to your remote computer either a virtual machine or a server or vps and you might have encountered it if you use uh, servers a lot and you might be wondering how to fix it quickly so why does this error happen most of the times it happens because you have reached the maximum outstanding uh, connections that are allowed by default that is 100 and so every time you connect something is cached and so not of not all the times that it's cleared away so you might get to the 100 and then you might get this error when you're trying to connect so the best easiest way to fix it is by adding a d word to the registry and setting the uh, maximum outstanding connections to some high figure like 4000 or 3000 or something so that you can keep connecting but today in this video i'm going to show you something different which is a bit of a workaround as well and it's not the best but it works for me every time i have this error so what we do is we need to fix uh to remove all the saved uh, remote desktop connections so every time you connect to a server and you say remember the credentials it saves it but there's no way to remove the saved connections unless you delete them in the re registry so that's what i'm going to show you today so you just come here to the registry re registry editor and then open the app and then you have to go to current user and then under current user you have to go to software and then under software you need to go to Microsoft so look for Microsoft there you go and then for Microsoft you have to go to terminal server they are all alphabetical so you just look for terminal server uh, I think it's this one terminal server client here and then finally the default so you can see these IPs here that you can see here it means these IPs are saved so delete as many as you can and in especially make sure you delete the one that you're trying to connect to so you just right click and delete it just right click and delete it. just keep doing that and delete this one and once you've done that just cross the registry then the last thing that you need to do is you need to restart your laptop and then when, once you restart your laptop this error will disappear and you won't face it anymore i hope that helps thank you for watching and leave a comment to show if it worked for you please like subscribe and share thank you so much catch you in the next video